asking about the cost effectiveness of this mission and uh, I think I don't want to explain all the secrets because if I tell the secrets, the others will learn and they will become very cost effective. We will even get to know about the cost effectiveness secrets of ISRO, but now that Chandrayaan-3 has landed on the moon, aren't you curious about the life of ISRO scientists? How much do ISRO scientists earn? What kind of qualifications would you require to work at ISRO? What does a typical day for an ISRO scientist look like? For a lot of our young viewers who now might be inspired to join India's space missions, to those who are less acquainted with the realm of ISRO scientists, fear not, for we hold all the answers. Some years ago, ISRO scientists did a Reddit AMA and their answers were truly insightful. Let's read out some of these. First off, what kind of qualifications would you require to work at ISRO? You have to be an Indian with a degree or diploma in mechanical, electronics, electrical or civil disciplines. There will also be an exam for each type of post, followed by an interview for selection. Now the question that we all want to know. How much do ISRO scientists earn? Do they have any sort of perks? Here's what the ISRO scientists answered. ISRO has a lot of perks, less than what any government organization would have, but still more than what a person earning the same amount of money would have in a private sector. The pay is more than 6.5 lakhs per annum without taxes. Moving on to how busy does a day for an ISRO scientist look like? To this, the ISRO scientist responded saying that it isn't like a typical government office. You actually get the work done here. Adding on, he also says that he delivered an 85-hour week and the rule says you can't be asked to do more than 40 hours. Now, you must have seen this video. A country that lacks a lot of infrastructure, a, company that, a country that has extreme poverty, I think more than 700 million Indians don't have access to a toilet. Um, really? Should they really be spending this sort of money on a space program? BBC Anchor is asking if India, which lacks an infrastructure and has extreme poverty, should be spending this much amount of money on space programs. Our ISRO scientists have an apt reply for this too. Giving a knockout answer, he mentioned how not only is this stuff cheaper than NASA's, but it also has satellites that help ensure India was prepared for Cyclone Fallon. Moreover, we can't ignore how our scientists are not only smart but also have a great sense of humour. Look at this one answer where they told us that the best part about working at ISRO is quoting this in the middle of conversations that it's rocket science. The best response was when somebody asked if they as private citizens could fund ISRO. The ISRO scientists reply, pay your taxes, that's the only way. And finally, what about aliens? The scientists were asked, are we alone in the universe and have you noticed any extraterrestrial UFOs monitoring Earth? They replied that maybe both possibilities are equally scary and no, not yet. So, what's your takeaway from these answers? Let us know in the comments below. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.